Today I'm going to install my Elden American coilover suspension on my 1976 Mustang 2 Cobra 2. I've changed the suspension a few months ago, so after the install video I'm going to show you guys a quick review of the Elden American coilovers. A few days before the install I broke my finger so my left hand was a bit useless. So a friend of mine helped me out with the install and I'm going to show you guys how I did. The install itself is pretty straightforward, you just need to take all the old stuff out and put the new stuff in. I'm not quite sure if the way I'm going to show you guys in this video is the fastest or the best way to do this, but it seems the easiest for me at the time. Plus it worked, so if it works, it works. We start off by taking everything off in order to work on the suspension. That means the tie rod ends, for this one we just use the hammer method because old school always works. After that we took out the brake caliper and then the rotors. For the rotors you do need to know that these are hub rotors, so you need to take out all the bearings as well in order to take out the rotor. With that out of the way we have the room to disconnect the hub from the lower control arm. For this we use the hammer method as well. I do know we can damage the ball joint bushings doing this, but I want to change them out anyway. Now finally we can take out the shock and the spring itself. The shock is pretty easy, just a nut on the top and a bolt on the bottom. The spring however is a bit sketchy to take out, you can use a special spring compressing tool, but we didn't have one so we used the pry bar and some effort. You need to be very careful but it comes out. Now we are going to install these Elder American Mustang 2 style coilovers. I'm a big fan of these coilovers, the quality and finish on these are just amazing, plus on top of that they look really good. While installing the coilovers we did find a small issue. The stock spring pocket interfered with the shock so we had to trim that down in order to make room for the coilover shock. I do want to upgrade the tubular control arms in the future in order to make the setup cleaner and improve the handling even more. After installing the older American coilovers, we also changed the lower ball joint bushings. And while we were at it, we changed the brake rollers to drilled and solid ones combined with fresh brake pads. Okay, now we've installed these Elden American coilovers on this 1976 Mustang 2, but how do they drive? So we're now going to do a test drive on these Elder American coilovers. I've had them for about two months already now, so I can give you guys a clear review. One thing you notice straight away is that the steering input is a lot sharper and consistent. Those are two things I really look for in a car like this, especially when you're going to take your car onto the track. It's really important to know how your car will react when you turn the steering wheel. I've chosen for 450 pound springs compared to the stock I believe 300 or 350 pounds. So the car is a bit stiffer but not too stiff that it's undrivable for the roads. Because the roads here in Belgium are not that great. When zigzagging on the road, the car just remains consistent with my steering input. I also want to thank CMS Garage in Borsbeek to allow me to install this coilover suspension in his shop and to let me film there. And I want to thank Elder American Coilovers to provide me with some amazing coilovers for this Mustang 2. To sum up, do I recommend these Elder American Coilovers? Yes. They really changed on how the car feels and drives in a positive way. For the coilovers, the car was really loose and seared really old, just like a 45 year old car. But now with the coilover, it just brought back some life in this old car. The car's a lot sharper, more consistent and just feels a lot better. So if you want to change your classic car into a bit of a sports car, I highly recommend on the coilover setup. And especially these Elder American ones are really good in my opinion. The installation was pretty easy, but I am going to upgrade to tubular control arms, just to make that setup a lot cleaner and better. Be sure to check out my Instagram page in the description below. I post a lot more content on Instagram than I do on YouTube, so really check it out. And in the next video I'm going to show you guys how I've installed these bucket seats and racing harnesses in this car. So be posted and I'll see you guys in the next video.